Uh, one of the other things that I said in that last video, before I got to that, I hope it's not a waste of time, is I did say that when you put the keyway in there and you drive it, the gib key, when you drive it in there, that it would it would tilt this flywheel. And actually, if this keyway is fitted to the flywheel and the shaft, then it don't do that. There is a very, very good article in a past uh, stationary engine magazine, in, in a past issue, I don't know which one it was, I, I just know it's in there, about how to fit a gib key. It's common knowledge in the machinery book, how to, uh, machinist uh, uh, books, how to fit a gib key. And if they're fitted correctly, then it, it does not tilt that flywheel. You, you will have equal pressure the length of the gib key. Look it up. Homework. The the, the, the flywheel, it's the crankshaft itself. This is the one that I'm actually going to use. Uh, it's just a generic, I disassembled like 12 of these M's and and they were frozen up. The, the, the engine would not turn over. And they were frozen up in positions where that I had to remove the crankshaft in order to get the rod and piston out in an easy, in an easy way. Uh, there was other ways I could have did it. And, and I could have turned this flywheel assembly with the crankshaft and all in the block with the indicator or a, a just a solid point. And I could, I could have... I could have noted the results as to if the flywheels ran true or not. I, you, uh, without having a jig fixture, uh, you can actually put this crankshaft in the in the engine itself and rotate it and note use the engine as a crankshaft alignment test fixture. If you only got one to do, then I would advise to do that. But with having all of these several, I did take a side trip, and like I say, I have I have did these in the lathe. I I've, I've, I have uh, put these in the lathe and 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 checked them for straightness. And the one of the, one of the things I kind of found that if, if down in this hole here, there there is actually another hole down, and then it goes on down, and then there's another hole down here, smaller. And what that is, your greaser goes here, and, and you turn it, the grease comes in, and then it comes out this hole right here. Th this was one of International's bright ideas, how to grease the bearing uh, on, the, on, the, on the center of the crankshaft right there. Oh, it was a good idea. It works really good. Uh, some of the other engines, uh, what, Fairbanks, more several of them, has the greaser on the end of the rod cap and you have to stop the engine in order to turn that greaser well internationals bright idea was you could just put your palm of your hand against the greaser and it would screw itself inward and force a little grease out you didn't have to stop the engine oh it was a really good idea but uh getting on with the with the project now I did say something about using sandpaper, and this right here is that cheap stuff you get up there to uh, one of them. Well, it's cheap sandpaper, and and the, uh, the 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 particles on this sandpaper are really hard, really hard particles. But 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 the glue ain't no good, and what happens is you use this old cheap sandpaper on a on a rotating shaft or a movable shaft of any kind and, and a little bitty piece of particle gets embedded in there and it will cause you problems later cause no problem now you just put it together the engine starts up and runs good it's later when 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 you disassemble the engine you will see where that that little particle caused a problem the, 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 the thing to do is to buy a good quality uh, this is uh, emery paper, a good quality emery paper. Uh, some of the cheap stuff is as bad as the cheap sandpaper. But a good quality emery cloth, uh, crocus cloth, a good quality. 
and uh, and I did put this in the vise over there with the woody, wooden jaws, clamped it in the vise, and then just well, I worked this with a file uh, until it was almost usable. And that's another thing about using a file. If you're going to work on these old engines, a file will be the it will be your friend. You, you should have several good files to, to fit the parts on these old engines. Now, if you go back and look at some of the history, a lot of your old machinery was hand fitted was with a file. Or you can do some really good work with a file. And if you're going to work on these engines, you should be proficient in file work. So, anyways, I did I did uh, uh, work this with the file until it was. I probably could have used it in that shape, but then I put it in the vise over there in some wooden jaws, and then I took the emery cloth and I and I and I buffed it, polished it around yonder. On 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 doing one sec one shaft at the time, meaning I did this one, and then I did this one and this one, or ever how. Do not try to do this one, this one, and this one. That's simply because you you the end results should be that when you get done with this, that this shaft is perfectly round. So so what I did after I did the file work is I worked it right here, and then I rotated the shaft a quarter of a turn, and I rotated uh, worked it again another quarter of a turn and worked it again until I had turned it four different places buff, buffing it like this right here until it was a shiny condition and it and 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 well we'll get to that and after I did that the four times then I come back and I turned it an eighth of a turn a eighth of a turn eighth of a turn and it looked like it was it looked as good as could be and then I've done it again uh, you you cannot get this shaft too round. You just can't do it. And the only one you the only way you do that is to work up to it by rotating the shaft as you work it here. Yes, you can put it in the lathe, but there are so many people that's working on these engines that does not have a lathe. It, it can easily be done in the vise with a file and some quality uh, emery paper. Can be done and should be done.